Advocacy doesn't come naturally to either physicians or anesthesiologists. It's something that has to be developed and it has to come with the realization that if you're not there promoting your profession, no one else will be. There are large numbers of groups out there that are providing either misinformation or false information to the legislature and the regulators that control our lives. Without advocacy, without our involvement in correcting those mistruths, there's no way that those legislators and regulators are going to know what is real and what is not. And so it was with the realization that this misinformation was going to them that I realized that advocacy by all anesthesiologists was key. So for those anesthesiologists that do not want to be advocates, I'd say it's time that they wake up and realize the importance that all of us be on board in promoting anesthesiology and letting the public know who we are as physicians and what we do, bringing safe medical care to the operating room, to the pain clinics and the critical care units where we work, and that no one else is going to be an advocate for them except for themselves.